What's going on everybody, it's Rob here from Up Unlock, and today I'm going to be bringing you the top 5 jailbreak tweaks of the month February. So coming in at number 5 we have iAppLock. So if I go ahead and open up iAppLock here, as you can see I'll have to enter a password to get into the app, just like so. Now basically what this allows you to do is lock and unlock apps meaning you can have uh, five apps locked at any one time. So let me just demonstrate this real quick. So you click add and then you can choose an app to hide uh, or lock. So let's go ahead and choose iFile. Now you just click save and it will save it to your thing. You have settings here where you can change the password and when you originally uh, download iApp lock you'll be prompted to enter an email and the default password that you want. So I don't think you can change it unless you click forgot um, password. So if I open up iFile here and I can't remember the password to so say I, I just type in the wrong password here a few times, it will come up in the upper right corner forgot and it will send an email to my email to uh, resend and retrieve the password. So let's just enter the password here, and as you can see, it goes straight into the uh, app that I've decided to lock. So that's iApp Lock. Coming in at number four, we have Switcher Blur. So if I double tap to go into my multitasking, as you can see, the apps are blurred. So if you had messages up here, um, or photos and you don't want people to see them as you can see here I have my phone and you can't really read any of the stuff on it my photos you can't also see that much on it um, so it's good in terms of privacy and it does add a cool effect to it now jumping straight into tweak number three we have kill background seven as you can notice in the lower right we have a red background with a skull and crossbones if I click that it'll instantly back me out of the multitasking bar and if I go back into it as you can see there's nothing else on the multitasking so for example if I opened up activator backs out and reopen multitasking as you can see we have activator right there so that's quite a handy tweak to have coming in at number two we have spring to my three now this tweak was released a couple of weeks ago and is probably the best tweak to have um, in my opinion on your iOS 7 device because you have so much you can do you can change your device in pretty much every single way so I'm not going to show you this whole app but you'll kind of get the gist so the animation speed you can change the animation speed so as you can see if I back out the app and reopen the app it adds an effect you can speed that effect up you can also change the app slider um, control center this thing you can remove the bars that separate it so as you can see above and below the brightness slider uh, right here you have lines where you can uh, the, the brakes like a, a, a part break you can get rid of that you can also change the size of your icons and uh, the icons in the folder and there's a load of stuff you can do on the lock screen and the status bar so that is spring to mize i'm sure you can go and check out my video on my channel if you want a more of an in-depth review on that i will have a link below so coming in my favorite tweak of the month and the only reason it is above spring to mize 3 is because i use it a lot more than i do spring to mize 3 and this tweak is jelly lock so as you can see here on the uh, slide to unlock page I have this little circle here which I can move and hover over custom apps like so or the unlock button or the camera roll button so I find this handy because if I'm out and about and I want to quickly jump into an app I can just slide across and jump into an app just like so now if you do have a password on you can make it so it does not bypass your password and you have to enter your password or if you slide like that it does like what it does to the camera roll you get into the app um, but as soon as you press the home button it takes you straight back to the lock screen so I do find this very helpful um, I can just basically go on to any of the apps there is some configuration that you can do into the settings app where you can um, change all the default bypassing stuff as you can see right here you can also change the app shortcuts by clicking on it and selecting an app but anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like as it does support me and follow me on Google Plus I don't know why I'm saying that but we're all gonna have to jump on this Google Plus train eventually anyway guys thanks for watching this is Rob from App Unlock.